And your brother wanted to tell you that he was gay, didn't he? Um, he was uh, expressing that to the family, and he thought that, uh, that we would hold that against him and not let my children be around him. Why do you think he thought that? I, I don't know. I, it, uh, it never would have happened, I'll tell you that. My, right. uh, my, my kids at that, that point in their life adored my, uh, my brother. Can I tell you, if I were your brother, I would have been afraid to tell you too. Well, I'm sorry. I would have been afraid to tell you too because of stuff like this. Because this is what you're focused on. This is the legislation you want to put forward. This is what consumes your time. I would have been afraid to tell you too. I was afraid of people like you growing up, and I grew up in Hickory County, Missouri. I grew up in a school district that would vote tomorrow to put this in place. And for 18 years, I walked around with nice people like you who took me to ball games, who told me how smart I was, and who went to the ballot and voted for crap like this. And I couldn't wait to get out. I couldn't wait to move to a part of our state that would reject this stuff in a minute. I couldn't wait. And thank God I made it. Thank God I made it out. And I think every day of the kids who are still there, who haven't made it out, who haven't escaped, from this kind of bigotry. Gentlemen, I'm not afraid of you anymore because you're gonna lose. You may win this today, but you're going to lose.